Ninja Gaiden is ridiculous right now. Look at this joint, man. Oh my god. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question. Yes. Are you guys gonna have like a versus mode in this game? I would love to like ha this should be a fighting game too, not just an action adventure. Like That's a fighting game. I know that on Wild Five, but still, I, yo, I want to see that. But you got it. Will also have a versus mode. It will also have a multiplayer mode. Oh my! I told you I love you. It, it will have a versus mode and a multiplayer mode and Ninja Gaiden. Stop! What? Oh my God! Seriously? Yes. So, what, what characters you guys have? <laughs> yo, like it will be, look at this. It will be ninjas versus ninjas. Oh, okay. Battle Royale style. What? Yes. That's gonna be insane. Oh my god. Oh wow. That is crazy. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, wow. Ninja, um, Ninja Gaiden, I got a question. Ninja Gaiden is known for superpowers, like like the special attacks and superpowers. Like, what kind of powers are we gonna see in this version of Ninja Gaiden coming up? Well, this actually for Ninja Gaiden 3, we wanted to sort of strip away a lot of the fantasy elements and really give players the experience of a more realistic ninja adventure. Okay. So we want to focus on man of sword. And make oh, that as wow. like, gritty and rough as possible. So we want to make players feel what it's like to cut down someone up close and personal. Mm. So rather than throwing like nympho bombs and all of this, we want you to really get up and close with cutting down people. Wow. And that's, that's, that's the sensation you get by playing Ninja Gaiden 3. Um, now, weapons. That weapon selection. Is the Wolverine claws coming back? Like, I was a big fan of those claws that um, Hayabusa had. So, will those claws be coming back? Or is there any new weapons you can tell us about? Classic traditional weapons will come back in some form or fashion. But for the main story mode, we're trying to focus on the sword. Okay. So, this time around, it's for you guys to sort of re experience the katana. Oh my god! And He's in this game too? <laughs> What's up, man? You know, oh, basically, that's my man right. Dave. What's up? <laughs> it's a family affair. <laughs> yep. Yo, that's crazy, man. All right, so will, will the sword like level up throughout the game since it's all about the sword? Yes. Yes. I can't wait to see this. Oh my God. All right. Now, quick question. In terms of the environments, it looks like it's a bit more open instead of closed like it was before. What's some of the environments will, will Hayabusa be visiting? Oh, well, a lot of the environments from your classic Ninja Gaiden series right. will definitely maintain. It will go from, you know, urban areas such as this to fantasy areas. Wow. But uh, we're definitely trying to give it a more realistic feeling. To the series. I I gotta see this part real quick. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. Oh, is this a choice thing? Hold up. Wait, you can wait. No, but is this your choice? Can you choose? Can you choose? Can you let him go or kill him? So you can let him go or kill him? Kill him. I'm trying to. On this particular. I don't think so. Yeah. Yo. Oh, that's crazy. You saw that? You just slide under the ground. Oh, yo! What the oh, snap! That looks like the thing from Ghost in the Shell. Oh! Oh! Yo, nah, son. Nah, son. Look at the graphical effects on this joint. Yo, what the? Alright, I got a question. In the industry, and this is what I don't like about the game industry, and any website that disagrees with me, I don't care. Like, I love quick time events. It's a different way to play a game, and a different way for a game developer to show you the action. Now, I see that there's some sort of quick time events in this game. Are you guys worried about what some websites may say in the industry regarding that? Or, how do you feel about the quick time events? Because I 
I love them. I love them. I think they are great. We're realizing the concern for quick time events, but actually we don't really consider this sort of a quick time event or a lag to the action because of quick time. It's actually a finishing process for a certain combo move. Okay. So it really doesn't affect the gameplay. And if, as you will see, the quick time prompts will eventually go away because it's more like a tutorial in the beginning. But as you become more acclimated to the action, those prompts will go away and it'll become very, very natural and fluid. It won't feel like a quick time event. Oh, that's crazy. Look at this. Yo, he's climbing up the joint. Look at this. Look dude, at you missed me throwing the dagger at the dude. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, you guys changed Ninja Gaiden a lot. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, way more cinematic. The camera angles and everything. Let me ask you a question. I think you guys, because of, because you, you guys did such a great job of this game, like Black Bible was talking about Ninja Gaiden back in Nintendo, like the original Ninja Gaiden. Like it'll be amazing if you guys like remade it or packaged it in with with the game. That would be you know how many you know how much sales you guys are generating. I want you to grab this swan dive because you missed it. Oh, 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 we about to check it out. Oh, yeah. Yo, swan dive, dog. Go, Y'all go back. Go, go down there. Jump. Go push forward to X. Forward to X. Oh, there you go. Look at the swan dive, son. Look at this right here, son. Oh, we take all. Nice. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> As a skin, why not as a skin? So if you'll see what other you can have the vintage first Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, from Nintendo. That'd be crazy. Like, you know, just as a skin. Oh, interesting idea. Yeah, it's the first Ninja Gaiden, and you could play through the game as a original. You know, on <laughs> when we released uh, Ninja Gaiden on Xbox, we actually had the original Ninja Gaiden as a bonus surprise that you could open up within the game on, on a little arcade console that you find in one of the chapters. Oh, okay. So, it, it was, that idea was was there. So, they actually got to pay homage to the original arcade game. To bring it back on Ninja Gaiden 3, it feels like a little bit of a repeat. Oh, you know what I mean? But, um, we love, you know, we love that idea of paying homage to the, the writer. The writer for Ninja Gaiden 3 is the actual writer. Oh! Look at the dragon! He pulled the dragon out! Oh! Oh! Too late! Oh! Yo! Oh! Oh my god! Yo! The blood! Yo! Oh! They said red, they're back. Okay. And the right path is down that way. Right? Let's see. Um, so it's yeah. more focus on. Oh shit. Yo, this is way more cinematic than. Oh! Slide under. Oh! I mean, you kind of saw that in that moment where the guy was doing his voice. Yes. It wasn't. I love the commentary. I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more dialogue, right? It makes you feel like you're really doing it. Like, and there's still more bad guys coming out everywhere. You become desensitized. There's one thing I will say. This is it for little kids. Oh nah, it's not. My little nephew's a player. The <laughs> Your cat. Oh oh oh! Do it! Do it! I, look, oh. at this, look at this! Yo, Ninja Gaiden, that's it. That's all you need. One love, God bless your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Peace.